Don't say that. Sally, don't listen. Don't listen to her nonsense. And now you're about to kill Marty. No. Sally's left hand, the one holding onto her right, suddenly gets stronger. Marty, run! M Marty, you gonna run? Stop resisting. <coughs> Sierra breaks free of Sally's left hand and slashes her left elbow. Oh. Ah. The scene almost looks oddly comical, but Marty knows that Sally's being attacked because she's trying to buy him enough time. Sally. <laughs> Shouldn't you be more worried about yourself? And there I go. Move, get moving. Ugh, my head is spinning. Marty's bleeding too much and is about to pass out. At that moment, Sally suddenly takes a deep breath. What do you think you're doing? Yeah. Sally grabs her right hand again with her left. She holds her right wrist in a firm grip, then points the tip of the knife at her own throat. What? Are you crazy? If you kill me, you'll die too. Marty, thank you for loving a girl like me. Wait, wait, okay, I'll let Marty... Sierra, even if you let Marty go, I'm not going to let you off. I'm ending all of this along with you. Oh. W oh, I did not expect it, okay. Ack. Stop, don't be stupid, Sally. No, please, Sally. Forget about me. Find someone who truly deserves. That's so sad. What the heck? Oh my. <laughs> Sally jams the tip of the knife into the right side of her throat. The pain is so severe that her hands instantly go limp. But she regains her grip on the knife and slashes her throat hard to the left. <laughs> Oh my, Sally, what? No, this can't... Sally... Wait, is that the end? Did Sally just die? Is this a hospital? Oh, hey, Marty's alive, great. Who dat? Bruce, and you are? I'm Brucey's partner, Jade. Don't you remember who I am? Right, sorry, I'm just a little confused right now. Where's Sally? Well, Sally... Oh my god, wait, Sally's alive? Ta-da! Oh my gosh, Sally, I'm so relieved you're okay. Yeah. It was a miracle. Bruce got your message and came to the house just in time to save us. I need to come through for us, Bruce. Why is Bruce mad? How much is this going to cost? So then, what happened to Sierra? I'm not really sure either, but Bruce got rid of her. I never expected I'd say goodbye to my sister like this. But then, you'll never be able to reconcile with your sister. It's fine, Marty. Everything's fine. None of that really matters anymore. You're right. I'm here, and you're here with me. What could be more important than that? This is a nice ending. Wait, what? Who is he talking to? Are we hallucinating? Who else? The prince- Oh. Unfortunately, what he was seeing wasn't actually Sally's spirit, but only a phantom he created to escape reality. He's probably hallucinating due to the severe trauma. That's horrible! I thought this was a good ending! All that just because one girlfriend died? That boy sure was infatuated. Well, when he met her, he'd just lost his parents, his only friend, and his memory. Even worse, as soon as he woke up in the hospital, he was thrown into that paranormal hazard. It makes sense that he turned to Sally for emotional support to get through this desperate situation. 
You can't blame him if you can't live without Sally. If I die, will you become like that too? Wake up, you're not my girl. Oh my, that's so mean, what the heck? Screw Bruce. We can't do anything for him now. We're too late. What are you talking about? As long as he stays in that state, they'll always be together. Till death do them part. I'd say we came at just the right time to witness this magical moment. I can't tell if Jade's like... A nice person or a psychot? I don't know. Congratulations then, I guess. That's a bad end, but I'm happy. It's fine. Till death do them part. So is like the last ending gonna be like the true ending or like the good ending? I'm confused. What what's gonna happen? Cause this game's almost over. I hope you understand now how endings are deals with evil spirits. Okay, but are there any evil spirits out there that are so strong that a Nazar won't do anything? <laughs> of course. W what kind of evil spirits? Before answering that, let me ask you a question. Why are humans afraid of evil spirits? Well, because they can levitate and go through walls, plus cast deadly curses and kill humans? But there are certain evil spirits that can't levitate or go through walls, or even cast deadly curses. But what they do is often more horrific than killing. Can you tell what they are? You mean humans? Huh, so your brain actually works. What is wrong with Bruce? What did I do to Bruce? Why is this man so mean? Okay then, Mr. Master Exorcist. How do we deal with that type of evil spirit? Simple. Just act even crazier than the evil spirit. What? How does that? So what? I just go insane and then I win. I don't, whatever. I don't. Okay. Let's do this. Blah 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 blah. Great. Go in the door, please. Let's see. Wow, <laughs> stairs, the basement, the headless corpse. Somehow, everything appears just as I expect. What is this, a bee ho- oh right, I already read that, I forgot. <laughs> conversation notes. What are these conversations? Why would the notes be left out here? Sally is a 20 year old college student. When she was very young, she lost her father. Her mother did not show her adequate love, and she was rejected by her sister. The reason I'm making note of these conversations is because after witnessing the tragic death of her sister and boyfriend in the car accident, the resulting trauma seems to have triggered occasional lapses in her memory. I guess sometimes people forget painful memories to protect themselves. During our first conversation, I noted that Sally tends to suppress herself and cater to others, believing she does not deserve to be loved. That could be a result of her lonely childhood. Sally okay? Maybe her boyfriend John could have helped her see that she deserves love, but Sally believes she caused John's death, and now she thinks she's even less worthy. Sally has a hard life, oh my god. Maybe for Sally, John was the first person who ever gave her love. She must have hated herself for causing his death. A few days ago, while sorting through her sister's belongings, Sally read her sister's diary. She was devastated to find out that her sister had loved John too, which was not good for her trauma. I wonder what not good means. Sally didn't seem herself today. She was awfully aggressive. Then later she called to apologize, but the reason for the apology was weird. She was sorry that she forgot we were supposed to meet. What? Wait, is this? Obviously she had no memory that we had met and talked earlier. I'm worried that a manifestation of everything that Sally hates about herself is taking control. That's not good. Oh, crap. Since it's the dark side of Sally, I will call it her shadow from now on. Shadow. Sally recently got a new boyfriend. Maybe this will finally help her through her trauma. But today, she said in a panic that she realized someone was continuing her sister's diary. 
She was scared that it was her sister haunting her. She let me read the diary, and I realized that the new entries sound suspiciously like the shadow rather than her sister's old entries. I think we need to try and figure out how much the shadow is infringing on Sally's life. Wait, so Sierra possessing, or is this sh what? Huh? I'm confused. How much, huh? An awful lot, I'd say. She couldn't accept. She couldn't accept John's death, so she wanted to reconstruct him, and she chose to make him out of her boyfriends, including me. So my girlfriend really is a psycho killer. So has Sally been doing all this? Somehow, I'm not very scared. After all, the one who did that was her shadow, and the love that I felt from Sally was definitely real. <laughs> what? After that, the cult consumed my mother's eyes. Alright. Thinking back. <laughs> Sally has trouble accepting herself because she lacked love in her childhood. I may not be able to give her enough love to make up for that, but even so, I swear I will. Continue to... Why is love in quotation marks? <laughs> it's my choice. I won't let anyone stop me. I can't live without Sally in my life anymore. Is Marty good? He's like slowly going insane throughout this whole thing. She's coming. Go ahead and come. Oh my god. What... I told you, okay, she said that like 18 times at this point. Your room, huh? You're not Sally, but you're not Sierra either. Oh? You're the part of Sally that she hates about herself. You're her shadow. It doesn't matter what I am. The only thing that matters is that soon I'll have someone who loves me because my John is about to be complete. It's fine if no one loves me. I just need to sue one that does for myself. That's what Sierra taught Sally, and that's what Sierra taught me. Remember what I said? Marty took out the Sierra doll. If Sierra really didn't have any love for you, she wouldn't have made this doll for you at all. Is something gonna go wrong? Cause we can't have a happy ending on this one cause there's two left, whatever. And now, there's a guy who loves you standing right in front of you. Why do you pretend like you don't see him? Damn, Marty spitting facts. Oops, sorry, I'm not talking to you, Shadow. Wake up, Sally. I'm trying to get through to you. You think you can wake? A, you think you can wake Sleeping Beauty up with that bullshit? What are you, Prince Charming, or some protagonist in a dating sim? I mean, the description did say dating sim. Anyway, um, the Shadow slowly raises her right hand to reveal a kitchen knife. It's better if you never speak again. You'll be more attractive that. That hurt. That hurt, and I'm not even Marty. My god. Simple. Just act even crazier than the evil spirit. <laughs> Marty spreads out his arms, ready to embrace the shadows. Oh, yep, he snapped. What? Sally, if you don't wake up soon, another one of your boyfriends is going to be butchered. Are you really okay with that? That's right, I'm emotional blackmail. What? Is Marty good? Actually, that's a stupid question. No, he's not. The hell? You're crazy. <laughs> Ow. What? The knife pierces through the skin of Marty's midriff, but the cut is not deep. Someone has grabbed the shadow's hand, and that is none other than... Sally, it's you. Sally's left hand has her right wrist clutched firmly, stopping the knife. I can't believe his bullshit really woke you up. Call it what you want, but it opened my eyes. I shouldn't think I'm inferior and unloved. You've been playing the tragic heroine for 20 years, and now you want to change yourself. Isn't that just a little too convenient? Who do you think you are? Who do I think I am? Of course, I am you. And I won't allow that part of me to kill any more of my boyfriends. Sally puts more force in her left hand and suppresses the right hand controlled by the shadow. Are we just watching this? Are we really not going to do anything? I mean, okay. Don't be fooled. He doesn't really love you. He's just hungry for your body, like all the other guys. 
Huh? Sally's left hand falters slightly. Ah, oh, crap. No. As a healthy, functioning guy, I'll admit I love Sally for her body just as much as her mind. What's wrong with being hungry for her body? Damn. My god. Jeez, Marty, do you have to say that out loud? Then tell me, if you're so hungry, are you really okay with the fact that she didn't save herself for you as a healthy guy? Can you say you don't mind that at all? Oh my god, what's happening? Marty? Oh, come on, what is this, the Middle Ages? Look, I don't even mind that Sally killed a... <laughs> what do you mean you don't mind? Okay, why would I care about her virginity? Are you kidding? Like, that's supposed to make me feel better? <laughs> Am I dead? Oh. Sally pokes the knife into Marty a little. I, sorry about that. If you're unsure, I can comfort you. If it's a promise you need, I can give you one. But what really matters, Sally, is for you to believe that you deserve love first, or you'll never receive it. Do you actually think a psycho like her really deserves your love? It's perfect, actually. Sally and I, we're both crazy. We're a match made in heaven. Yeah, but Marty, um... Okay, I feel like Marty's gonna kill Sally or something. Do us a favor and go to sleep already. Stop being such a third wheel. Damn, uh, Marty. Oh my god, the progression. Marty is right. I want to believe in him. And because he believes in me, I want to believe in myself. Sure, believe in him and yourself. But when you get betrayed, you know it's going to hurt like hell. Can you really stand that? If that happens, all I have to do is wake you up and have you kill- Oh, shit. Eh, I'm sure nothing bad could happen. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I'll look forward to seeing if you'll ever need to wake me up. Good night, other me. The shadow relinquished control of the right hand, and the knife clattered to the ground. Sally looked dazed for a moment, but immediately came to. She even looked refreshed, as if she had awakened from a long dream. It seemed the shadow had entered a deep sleep. I don't know how to say this, but I feel like you see through me. That's what it's like to be a couple. Just seeing each other's good sides isn't enough. I'm worried that I might hurt you again one day. Is there any kind of love where people never hurt each other in some way? Then Marty, can I make a decision that I know is going to hurt you? Oh god, what's happening? What decision is that? I want to turn myself in and confess my guilt to the- Oh, cr oh wait, what, wait. Oh, wait, that's not good. Why now? Why do you have to leave me when we can finally be together? Marty, listen to me, please. It's because I want to be with you that I think I should pay for my sins first. I have girly dreams about ram- I have girly dreams about romance, you know? I want to be your girlfriend as a normal girl, not as- a psycho killer. Of course, no matter what I do, the people I killed won't come back to life. Still, I have to take responsibility for the things I've done. But, but I don't care. God, oh no, Marty. Marty's turning. Please, no, Marty. Psycho killer or not, you're my girlfriend. Marty wanted to hold Sally's hand, but... My hands are covered in blood. I don't want to taint yours. But if one day my hands are clean, and we have the opportunity to meet again, will you hold my hand then? I can get my hands dirty too. Please! Please! Thank you for saying you'll wait for me. But if it takes too long, just forget about me. Don't put off your own happiness just for me. I'll always be waiting for you. You're so silly. 
After waking up, it wasn't happily ever after for my sleeping beauty. Reality confront. Reality confront. Sh reality confront. Reality confronted her like a thicket of thorns. Sally was not only tried criminally, but was also subjected to online abuse. Before Sally was convicted, some unscrupu unscrup so before Sally was convicted, some unscrupulous reporters sensationalized her as the prettiest murderer ever, publicizing her real name and even her appearance. That's horrible. Strangers online not only raided Sally's face and body, but also jokingly called her the angel face killer and made a big deal about her gender. What the fuck is At some point, the stress got to Sally so badly that the shadow resurfaced in public. That scene also went viral. Jeez, keep her locked away somewhere. They can't let her run loose so she can hurt others. Wow, getting a girlfriend is rough these days. She could treat you like an ATM or she could even kill you. After all that, you find out she's damaged goods. We should kill humanity. Uh, that's just a woman being a woman. I bet it was PMS. Some evil woman kills two guys, and you creeps make a circus out of it. Where do you all hide when us honest women get sexually assaulted and harassed? This debate is pointless. This debate is- Oh, my bad, sorry. She's a psycho who mutilated two guys. Do us a favor and go off yourself. Why should honest taxpayers have to feed such a monster with our hard-earned money? Humanity is doomed. They don't know anything about Sally. Why do they talk like they do? Not a single one of them really cares what kind of person Sally is. There are certain evil spirits that can't levitate to go up. Oh. There are evil spirits too. The whole lot of them. Losing Sally has made my life all bad again. And seeing all the mockery and abuse hurled at Sally made me suffer even more. But on second thought, maybe their reactions are just normal. Maybe I'm the abnormal one. I haven't been dating Sally for long. Why am I so obsessed with her? I don't really know. I just feel like I've known Sally for a long time. Even longer than she's known me. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> but if one day my hands are clean, well, well again, my hand. Why are they so fast? I can't read it. Of course I want to wait, but I don't think I can bear this any longer. Because I really can't live without you. Is he gonna kill himself? But I'll keep waiting for you to keep my promise. I'll continue to lie to myself that I can wait. That's a good ending? That's a good ending? Okay, you know what? Fine, sure. Last ending, please, please. No, I've had enough. I don't want to lie to myself anymore. I should have kept Sally by my side, even if it meant getting my hands dirty. Uh, uh, if only I could rewind time. You can! Huh? <laughs> Did I hear someone say they want to rewind time? Who's there? This isn't the first time I've heard this voice. You mortals are so eager to extol your love, courage, hope, and whatever else, thinking you can always make choices, that you can achieve something. Yet whenever you're overwhelmed with despair, you immediately pray- Oh, my bad. I do love how adorably pathetic the mole existence is. Very well, I shall play Cupid for you and that girl and take pity on you with the miracle of rewinding time. What? Ah! So those precognitive dreams weren't dreams at all. Rather, every time I regretted a decision in despair, Nya descended, rewound time, and I forgot everything. After all, I'm your boyfriend now and always. I told you not to open the door to my room. Oh my god. Now I remember all the previous loops. I accepted Sally, misunderstood her, got stabbed by her, and even went insane for her. In every loop, I naively thought I was in control of making my own choices.
but actually, my fate is already written, intertwined with Sally's, where just jesters made to dance in someone else's script. Oh god, Marty's breaking. In this world, there are beings beyond the reach of human understanding, and we humans may be nothing more than playthings that exist to please those beings. I suppose this is what Nya meant by the mortal existence, huh? Holy crap. Okay. Okay, this... This took a weird turn. In that case, I'll just accept it for what it is. Hey, we're not on the sofa! But if one day my hands are clean and we have the opportunity to meet it again, will you hold my hand then? This time, yeah, I rewound time back to before I made my last choice. Not when I woke up on the sofa. I might even say that deity is surprisingly considerate. Definitely not good by any means, but at least this time, I have to admit I'm thankful. Marty, Marty! Oops, sorry, Sally. I was just thinking about something. I knew it. You don't want to wait for my hands to be clean, do you? Hmm. Which option? There's so many to choose from. One, two, three, four, five, or six. Hmm. This one looks good. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why do you care if your hands are bloody? Just get my hands dirty too. Marty picks up the kitchen knife from the... Are we going to kill her? Oh shit, we're going to kill her. Oh god, what did she do? Besides mutilate two men, but what did she do besides that? Marty? I figured out a way for us to be together forever. Oh crap! There goes Sally. What? Wait, what? Marty digs the knife mercilessly into the headless corpse. Why? Well, what, what do you think you're doing? Can't you tell? We just have to get rid of the corpse properly and yourself in. So I'm chopping it up into parts again. Why didn't I think of such a simple solution the last time? A simple solution? For starters, we're both of this. Oh, it's all coming together now. There are those hills behind your house. Your exes are buried there and they've never been found. We just have to bury stuff nice and deep to prevent stray dogs from digging them up. How could you possibly know that? Oh, we need to burn the diaries and photos too, especially the photos with red writing on the back. There'll be trouble if someone sees those. Th th there's red writing on the back of the photos. I, I know nothing about that. Of course you don't, because I know you a lot better than you know yourself. Marty, listen to me, please. What I'm trying to say is, you don't have to go that far. Sally, compared to having to w compared to having to watch you turn yourself in, being abused online, and having the shadow resurface in public, taking apart a corpse and getting rid of it is nothing. Nothing. I mean, it's not like I'm a random stranger. I'm your boyfriend, aren't I? Now and always, forever. From now on, the fact you killed some people is. A secret just between the two of us. Well, um... So you know how Sally said Mark was like an innocent guy? Yeah, I don't know about that one anymore. I'm Sally, a female college student. A couple of years ago, I was in a horrible car accident where I lost my first love and my only sister for me, and I'm still adjusting to this life. I recently started going out with a boy. His name is Marty, and he loves me so much that he only has eyes for me, to the point that it's somewhat terrifying. Because I start to feel that the me in his eyes doesn't just include me, but also something beyond the reach of my own understanding. He's hiding some secrets from me. Some secrets that are unspeakable. 
the X ending, My Boyfriend Secrets. Oh. Oh. Well, um, my computer just had a stroke, but it's fine. Anyway, that was my girlfriend's secrets. Uh, it was... I did not expect anything that happened. Um, I expected one thing, and then, another, and then another thing happened, and then another thing happened, and then another thing happened. But it was a really good game. There's not much to say. I mean, I'll definitely be playing... Uh, True Cannibal Boy, and I'll also be playing whatever the other one is, because I'm pretty sure this is a sequel or something like that to the previous game, but yeah. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, you can check out this game. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, although it is money, because, you know, money. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm gonna go cry now, because there were no actually really good endings. I just wanted a good ending. I just wanted to go.